ero rattristato nei riguardi di alcune considerazioni fatte nei riguardi della Commissione europea e da allora non ho aggiunto alcunché se non limitarmi a ricordare che nei riguardi dell'Italia, cosa che poi non è stata detta in Italia, Uh, non ho che parole che potrei mettere in una lettera di amore all'Italia o a tutti gli italiani, ho avuto anch'io dei miei momenti di lirismo nei riguardi dell'Italia, quindi prima di tutto ho fatto una sorta di dichiarazione d'amore nei riguardi dell'Italia, comunque non ci sono problemi tra il governo italiano e la Commissione, a parte eh, il fatto che a, a volte ci sono diciamo, delle dichiarazioni leggermente fuori dalle righe, però c'è un ottimo rapporto. Il rapporto tra la Commissione e la Presidenza del Consiglio italiana e il Presidente del Consiglio italiano è un ottimo rapporto di lavoro tra i commissari e anche con le commissarie e i commissari italiani. C'è stato uno scambio anche vivace, normale, in democrazia non pone conseguenze. Based on our regular economic and monetary analysis and after the recalibration of our monetary policy measures last month, we decided to keep the key ECB interest rates unchanged. And we expect them to remain at present or lower levels for an extended period of time. As we start the new year, downside risks have increased again amid heightened uncertainty about emerging market economies growth prospects, volatility in financial and commodity markets, and geopolitical risks. In this environment, euro area inflation dynamics also continue to be weaker than expected. It will therefore be necessary to review and possibly reconsider our monetary policy stance at our next meeting in early March, when the new staff macroeconomic projections become available, which will also cover the year 2018. Uh, ILVA has a very long history of non-compliance with environmental standards. Already since 2013, The Commission has been urging Italy to ensure that the Toronto plant complies with EU legislation on industrial emissions. The Commission has also received a number of complaints from competitors alleging that Italy is providing restructuring aid that allows ILVA to modernize its plant with public money to reach for capacity. We need to look into these concerns very carefully as they concern large-scale measures to a significant player and might uh, bring a very serious distortion of competition in a very competitive sector. Therefore, the Commission has today decided to open a formal investigation. This is a good day for Europe, this is a good day for the international community because just six months after having reached the deal with Iran, we are at the implementation day. And this is first and foremost a good result for the security and the safety of the region, also the security and the safety of Europe, uh, because it guarantees that Iran will not develop nuclear weapons. But it is also a good day for our relations with Iran that from today, with the lifting of the sanctions, is open for cooperation, work, common work, and also investments and business. And I would expect that especially the Europeans that have always been present in Iran before the sanctions were introduced will work on these uh, uh, channels of cooperation that today finally reopen up. But it is also the possibility for us to work at improving the relations in the region. Multilateralism and diplomacy can also help improving the bilateral relations and in particular in these days with the war in Syria, with the conflicts all around us, it is going to be extremely important to encourage Iran and the other actors around it to engage in a cooperation rather than in a confrontation.
in the region. It's the European interest, it's the European work that has led us here, and I believe that it is going to be not only today a good day for Europe, but also the future of the implementation of these agreements will be important for all of us.